protect the one. For Doomhammer. So am I a fool for not doing coin totem golem in this board? It seems like two totem golem, three hero power might be better than one totem golem, two pass. Against living roots, I guess I'll totem golem the <laughs> If I don't use the coin here, I get to coin out Azure Drake on four. Two totem golem, three hero power, four Azure Drake would have been possible. With this. Basically, two pass, three hero power, maybe lightning bolt, four unknown. That one's kind of iffy. It's a play around wrath. In some cases, I miss three damage. This upcoming turn is going to be pretty bad. Well, I'll probably draw something that I can play. The odds are with me there. Although, drawing something I can play doesn't mean I'll play it. There's quite a few reactive draws. And I can always go Lightning Bolt. That would mean the turn after I'll have access to 4 mana. Hero power thing from below is doable. Mana Arcane Giant. Is that really his best play? Well, I guess uh, he must have reactive cards since my board is not very threatening. I would expect a swipe hero power. Arcane Giant. Ugh. Bluff hero power or Azure Drake hero power? Only has two cards left. Get uh, Wrath, didn't get Raven Idol. I try to head the four to five. I try to hit the five and the three. I guess that we live in that world. Pretty good. The two Arcane Giants and Fandral Staghelm are out of the way. And two swipes. So no AoE and no big threats left. Three plus, well, six plus, three plus one over there, three over there, four over there. Yep. Yeah, I might get some AoE. 
Maybe I should have used that. draw the hex. Also gets me the spell damage. I'll probably be playing Maelstrom. How do I kill? Oh yeah, I flame tongue to That could work. Some interesting cards. Here's my hex. I think I'll hit that. He has used both swipes. Living Roots can deal damage. It would have to be exactly Azure Drake's Living Roots. No, I'll just let the um, wolves tank, I think. The main thing is I'm out of room. Trade not because of fear, but because we lack the room in our board to do stuff. He needs the old god Yogg for the comebacks. like giving up so many taunts, but eh. I have to figure out whether in... no, he's he must not be running the Malagos version, right? If he has Faceless Shambler. I think so. You can't fit in Malagos as a tech card if you put in Faceless. But then Yinmi. Regret leaving Thanos up. Probably not. I was gonna attack it with the uh, wolf, and it's almost certain for him to use the wolf or as Thanos to attack the wolf, anyways. That's an interesting attack. Yeah, I can see it. I play Mana Tide, I kinda dodge Tunnel Track dying. Plus, it's on curve.
I guess I get to go on the curve. Foreign's coming up. Foreign's in the outer, Drake. Good little curve. By fire. Be purged. This is where a Cobalt would actually be really good. I could just Lightning Storm and Maelstrom Portal. That works well too. Or if I get lucky and clear it all, I'll hit the Totem after and he'll be like, wow, what a scrub. Today, I don't have to be a princess. gonna play thing but this is better two five six no two five zero then I can play a lightning bolt I would put it on the uh, totem there this is actually kind of a close game. He hasn't used any of his AoE yet. And he's got a spell damage to him out. Kind of scary. Not much I can really do about that though. I thought my use of Maelstrom Portal was pretty light and when I cast it, a lot of people in chat said waste. But I think it was okay to use it on a 3-1. Or was that or I hit the button? Alright, I can also hook stakes. I wouldn't be able to clear his guy. X seems better. X Lightning Storm? Yep. We're just about done in terms of AoE being good. I only have one Maelstrom portal left, but hopefully I can just take the board forever from here. Not that easy considering all I have is a 3-4. That was a pretty weak play from him. It means that his he currently there is a lot has reactive cards. What are reactive cards, which he wouldn't have played? I feel like he would have played Lightning Storm if he had it. Probably would have played Rag there if he could. I don't know. I don't remember if he was overloaded. What don't you play in that situation? Eh, I don't know, actually. Play seems odd. Millstrom Portal, maybe. He had lightning spark. He's ready for more value. I wonder if that was right. Might not have been. Maybe. I want to play Fire Alley. Or Azure Drake Spirit Claws, which is basically the same thing. Either way, the button is good. Let's go and clear here. I'm done for thinking about trading that for a map. No, never mind. 
Not that dumb. Could have AoE, but he held off on the first one for so long that he probably doesn't have another, plus he doesn't have spell damage. It's important to kill that Azure Drake. Gah! Gah! Still pretty good here, though. By pretty good, I mean way ahead. Does two equal three? No. It sometimes does, and often does, but... I could hit that spell damage totem, I could roll healing totem, I could roll... He could draw maelstrom... Meh. Wow. Uh-oh. Do me loose? Yeah, I've got a hex for his rock. Man, this one's going down to the wire. We've both got a rag and two things, and one thunder bluff. Totem or totem golem? If they is dead, fix a totem golem. Lethal. Yes, it is. Woo. It's actually a little bit over. Lightning Bolt is a good counter to uh, Tunnel Truck, but it's not a good counter to anything else. I'll toss it. The Nightmare is coin to uh, Totem Realm. If he does, not much I can do about that. I can try to roll a spell damage though. And then play the spirit claws next. Actually get two goes at it. It's kind of an interesting question if I roll spell damage totem. If you're the opponent, do you kill the tunnel truck or do you kill the spell damage totem? You probably killed the tunnel truck. Yeah, do I play Feral Spirit or do I play something else? I probably play Feral Spirit. The Feral Spirit into the, uh, Bone Realm isn't very good. But it sets up for Lightning Storm. Eventual Lightning Storm. I was thinking about equipping the Claws and hitting a, uh, wolf there. 
I should be having four health less taken off of me then. So, so far I've lost one tunnel truck. I think that's it in terms of cards lost. Oh no, and Feral Spirit. He's gonna lose Tunnel Trog, Totem Golem, Feral Spirit. But I'll lose Lightning Storm. And I'm gonna roll the Totem first. This turn it would be too costly too. Elements guide. Let him give us a uh, buff this turn, I guess. Side. And here's where I make a big play. Because spell damage! Wow. Is it? And the Zag is actually pretty decent. Double flame time. There, now it's my turn. My turn, fiend. Alright, he hasn't played any of his lightning storms yet, so we'll see whether or not he can catch up here. He's looking for spell damage plus lightning storm. Probably doesn't have lightning storm, otherwise he would not have played Thomas like that. There is a lot at stake. I should have um Rolled second, so I could get the healing totem again. I could not kill the fire elemental, actually. It's reasonable not to. He didn't have the AoE. Alright, I'm being convinced. We'll go face. I do an additional 6 damage by going face. At the risk of getting blown out by Hex plus Lightning Storm. But I deduce he didn't have Lightning Storm last turn. But he could have top decked it with two draws. Things might have gone differently had I traded the Totem first and then summoned. Rewarded for going face. There is a lot at stake. I must protect the one for Doomhammer. Two bad draws against uh, Druid in a row. Well, Maelstrom Portal isn't that bad anymore. I coin Maelstrom. Or? How lucky he is to have two matches against Bad Hand Shaman. Well, 
lot of people crying out for Fire Elemental change for Bloodlust, especially after the last game, but you know, there's also a huge camp of people who are like, why do you only have one Fire Elemental? You should put in two. So, there's continuously this... How do you call it? This, uh... There's a lot of good Shaman cards, suffice it to say. So it's hard to find a cut. And I don't want to cut the one Fire Elemental. It's like the one six drop in the deck, similar to how Barnes is the one four drop. I'm going to use the Maelstroms pretty lightly against Druid. They don't really have anything else to use it against. Plus I have the Lightning Storm. Tongue mana time? Good turn. Would be really strong here. You can make all the suggestions you want about this deck, like Manatai Totem for fan for Bloodlust, but if I didn't have a Manatai Totem in my hand there, my turn would have been a lot less good. And Bloodlust is near worthless at the moment. It should be fairly good fairly soon, to be fair. I think I go Azure Drake Tunnel Truck, but pushing the button is pretty good. I think I just want to play everything. That'd be Flame Tongue Totem. <laughs> Normal thing. On with the show. That's some pressure right there. Tonight, a tale of glorious redemption. Oh. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> ah! To Use two maelstroms. That is a chance of killing Barnes. Interesting innervate. Yeah, only one card left. I'm actually going to win somehow. And the one card is a random minion. I mean, a discovered minion. That's a pretty good one. 
Three, five, seven, ten. Trade, trade. No real reason to. Push me. Pretty good card I have there. On totem was pretty good. The land serves me. Totem Golem, Totem Golem, Hero Power? No, I want to play Feral Spirit. Totem Golem, Hero Power, Feral Spirit, probably. Moist. Quite a number of them would have been good. Hmm, I actually don't kill the 2 2 either, I think. Since I don't want him to be able to dictate two damage onto this thing. I thought I had lost for sure when he, uh, Malago Starfold, but apparently Shaman pretty good.